What's going on, good people? It's Will, your friendly neighborhood range therapist. And today I want to talk about the shooting events in the Olympics and our expectations for those. So I keep seeing posts where people are expressing their displeasure, dismay, frustration, anger, whatever, um, at some of the results of the shooting events uh, in the Olympics. And there's a few things wrong with that kind of line of thinking or reasoning, if you can even call it that. So in no particular order, reason number one, uh, the average person doesn't understand how hard it is to win an Olympic medal. Um, if you've never been around Olympians and seen how they move and train, they are different than the rest of us mere mortals. It is incredibly difficult. You're literally competing against the world and not in the sense that the NFL or NBA does. It's actually the world. Um, so be being number one in the world, two or even three, is something that only a small percentage of a small percentage would ever find out what that's like. Number two, a lot of people don't understand that, especially in the United States, a lot of these Olympians and high-level professional athletes still have side jobs. Why? Because some of these sports, especially like track and field, it's probably like that in shooting as well, um, don't necessarily pay that much unless you're like the top 1% where you can get appearance fees and things of that nature. A lot of these athletes have side jobs. They're not professional athletes 100% of the day. Um, and then you contrast that with some other countries where their Olympic programs are state-sponsored. So that's all they do is train day and night, sometimes from when they were little kids. Um, so their job is literally to train. They don't have anything else to do. Um, so there's a huge difference in the type of athlete you're gonna generate with someone that trains around the clock, that's all they do, that's all they focus on, versus someone who trains really hard, but then they also have the responsibility of having another job so that they can make sure they pay their bills. Number three is extremely common, and this is a big issue, is that people confuse gun ownership with skill. So just because people in the United States have a shit ton of guns, they think that there's a shit ton of people that can actually shoot. And lastly, for whatever reason, a lot of people in the United States think that because you're an American, you're automatically better than everyone else. Pure madness.